So I'm standing in about 18 inches of water. Just behind me you can see the dark rock or the yellow rock. That's stromatolites that are similar to the ones at the other end of the beach. And beyond that little reef, stromatolite reef, you see some beautiful aqua blue water. And it's that colour because underneath is just sand and it's a sand made entirely of what we call ooids or it's an oolitic sand. These grains are very similar in size. They're about 0.1 to 0.2 of a millimetre in diameter. And just like the shell beach, this particular sand will also form a rock when it's been blown up in a storm onto the ridge. There's a ridge behind us made of this sort of sand. But higher up it becomes lithified or turned into a form of concrete. And the grains in that rock are very, very uniform. So it's a special kind of limestone. In the days of the ancient Romans and Greeks, and more re recently in history, they found it was a superb building stone because you could cut it any way you liked. It was a great stone for making statues of, for example, simply because the grains are so small and so uniform.